So this is currently my pajama and sock drawer and as you can see it definitely could use some work so I'm going to try the Marie Kondo method of organizing just this drawer. So let's dive right in. So as you can see, it created a lot more space in the drawer than I had before. And while I didn't fold the socks, I kind of balled them together with the ball on the top. So they're kind of standing in these little black organization units from Ikea. Um, I had this whole section of drawer completely empty and I could definitely fit some more organizers over here. I could probably fit some more pajamas in here if I needed to and slide it down. So it definitely did help me to condense what I have and make it more visibly pleasing so I can see everything that I have in one glance. So this is just one drawer. We will move on to another one in a little bit. This is my exercise and workout drawer. So I'm going to start by piling this all up like she suggests and then we'll go through and organize individually. stuff I'm gonna go through and fold them as she suggests and then we'll see what the drawer looks like when we are all done So as you can see, I can clearly see what I have here. I have my sweatpants, my leggings, my t-shirts, and my sports bra tops, and my sports socks. All kind of laid out so I can see everything at a glance. The only thing I'm not sure of is when you start taking things out, how do you keep them from not falling over? That is my one question regarding this tidying folding method. So if you guys know, let me know if there is a secret. I do plan to get like a organizational unit for just right here at some point but this definitely looks a lot neater so I am very happy with this method of folding and viewing everything when you are tidying a drawer. So this is the second drawer that I've done using the Marie Kondo method and so far so good. 